Happening news since 6 tonight. For the first time, Norton Healthcare in Louisville, leaders there are speaking about what they are calling a cyber event that happened one week ago today. It has forced them to take many systems offline, and in some cases, they have returned to using pen and paper. Some appointments and surgeries are impacted. WHS 11 night teams Taylor Woods covered the news conference tonight. And Taylor, where do things stand with the system tonight? Well, Doug, Norton Healthcare Senior Vice President Renee Murphy says they are working around the clock to get answers and are trying to determine the extent of what information have been accessed last Tuesday. Norton Healthcare is still recovering from a cyber event that happened on May 9th, but in their first news conference about what happened was able to say this. At no point did an external force take control of or shut down our network. All of our facilities remain open and patient care continues. Norton has not been calling it a cyber attack, so we asked Renee Murphy of Norton if that's what it was. Right now, this is a cyber event. This is an ongoing investigation. Uh, we are thoroughly reviewing all the details to determine exactly what happened um, in this instance. We also asked if Norton is being held for ransom. At this point in time, you know, we received a fax communication um, that had threats and demands. Um, because this is an ongoing investigation, that's the information I'm able to share with you at this time. Despite the fact that the event happened last Tuesday, Norton said in the news conference that they are still trying to get to the bottom of the impact on patients. We are analyzing each application thoroughly to determine if there is a security risk before we bring any of those applications back online. This cyber investigation has caused surgeries to be rescheduled with online prescriptions impacted. However, patients are still encouraged to show up to their appointments unless they're told otherwise. Norton in some cases going back to the old days before computers. Caregivers follow established procedures when systems are offline. They may have to utilize manual processes and paper but they are working hard to ensure patients receive the care that they need. Patients can also call their providers for written prescriptions, and if that doesn't work, providers can help find another solution. And Norton said if the investigation determines that personal information has been compromised, those potentially affected will be notified. Now one week out, they are still trying to learn that information. In studio, Taylor Woods, WHAS 11 night team on your side.